Hello third graders, Mr. Demony here, and I'm here to talk about the book Little Rhino, My New Team. And before we start diving into the book, um, I want you to talk about with someone at home, a team that you've been on before, or a team that you've currently been on. And it doesn't have to be sports related, doesn't have to be baseball related, um, but a time that you feel that you've been part of a team. And maybe it's something um, about in your class, if you've been part of a team in your classroom before. And as you're discussing this at home, talk about the qualities, the positive characteristics that a, a team member has to have. And how are you a good team member? What are some positive characteristics and qualities that you have that would contribute to a team? So maybe you've read this book already, maybe you haven't, but in this story, Rhino is a third grade uh, student who loves baseball. He's very passionate about baseball. He goes home and that's all he wants to do is just practice, 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 to become better, to become better, to you know, be the best. And so um, what's something that you are passionate about? Now, when I was growing up, I was passionate about you know being a basketball player, being a baseball player, playing some type of sport when I was um, older. I was passionate um, about actually wanting to be a meteorologist, someone who um, forecasts the weather and is on TV telling you about the weather. Um, but then I learned very quickly I didn't like being on TV or being on camera. So that changed when I was in high school. Um, and then I became passionate about teaching. And that's what I do now, and I'm still very passionate about uh, my job here at Traeger. So what are your passions, and what are the steps that you take at home that you do in order to live out your passion and do some of those things that you're passionate about every day or every week or even once a month? So Rhino has a lot of struggles that he that we find out about. He has a lot of internal struggles, things that are happening on the inside in order for him to become a better baseball player, things that he thinks about himself when he strikes out or when he misses a ball when he's batting, um, or things that he's thinking because of the bully, the kid that picks on him a lot, and things that he wants to say but he knows that he has to control it because his grandpa taught him how to use his thinker and think it in his brain and then have a three second memory on it and just let it go. And there are things that you struggle with internally that maybe someone at home doesn't know or maybe someone at school doesn't know and how do you overcome those challenges? What are some strategies that you have in place to help you in times when you have a challenge that you must overcome? And then he has this outward um, struggle with a with the character with um, the bully on the team, um, but eventually at at the end of the book he's able to find a way to kind of be the better person and and inv invite him out and talk to him a little bit more um, and hopefully develop a friendship out of um, something that started out as um, a negative and making Rhino not feel good about himself and wanting to avoid this person at all costs to maybe slowly starting some type of friendship with him. So some other things that you could think about with this book is, you know, what is the author's message? What is the theme of this story? Um, what is a favorite part of this story that you have? And again, this book reminds me of when I played baseball growing up and each year I might be on, on a new team and have new teammates and some of them might be in my class at school. Some of them might have been from a different school, but you have to learn to work together to become a good teammate. And also there's, um, in baseball, there's a lot of math involved. So maybe you don't know a lot about baseball, maybe you know tons about baseball, but you could have a conversation about what are, um, what does math and baseball have in common when we talk about the percentages. You could do some research there. And you can write about how you're similar to Rhino or how you're different from Rhino as well. Um, just a writing task that you could do and, and have a discussion at home with a family member. Uh, so I hope you you're going to enjoy this book. Um, it's written by a former Major League Baseball player, Ryan Howard, um, who played for the Philadelphia Phillies. So he takes some of his experience growing up as a kid and he... Um, creates this book um, with his wife who was a former um, elementary school teacher. So together they make this book and there's a series. So if you enjoy this one, uh, check out the second one. All right. Happy reading.